Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. Hello everyone, my name is Sebastian and welcome back to a brand new video on Source Code channel. This is episode 4 of the JavaScript coding tutorials. In this video we will be going over switch statements in JavaScript and how to use them. So switch statements are quite complicated. They might seem easy and they are easy if you um, use them as you'd expect them to use. But there are a lot of other stuff that you can do with it. So I greatly advise you to go to the Mozilla Developer Network documentation to take a look at what you can exactly do and how they work exactly since I won't be covering everything. But a switch statement is basically a different way of writing a long if else line of code. So instead of writing if uh, true we execute this and else if false we execute this stuff this won't actually work but you get the idea it's just instead of chaining else if statements we can write it as one uh, big statement so the syntax for switch statement is switch then the expression and then you add cases and default statements so to use a switch statement we could for instance make a function to get the price of the fruit we have so let's say function price takes in a fruit and then we go and write our switch statement so instead of doing if fruit equals banana then we say console.log uh, five dollars Else, if uh, fruit equals, let's say, um, a grape, console.log $2. So instead of running out an entire if and else if and else statement, which would mean we would write a lot since we need to do fruit equals for each time, we could just write in switch statement. So we say switch fruit we'll begin making our switch statement so you start with saying case and then the what the fruit would be for instance so let's say fruit would be banana and instead of doing a semicolon or a curly bracket you just put a normal colon so when the fruit we have is a banana we would um, say console.log uh, five dollars gonna stick with it now at the end of the statement, when you don't want to do anything else, you would break. So then we add another one. Um, let's say an apple. And we console.log $2. And we break again. Then when we have a lemon. Lemons are $2.50. And we break again. And when we don't match anything, which means the fruit isn't a banana, an apple, a lemon, we would say default console.log. You haven't haven't provided a good fruit. And I put a backslash right here since we I'm using a single quote and I'm using a single quote as well so to prevent the string from ending I put a backslash which means it doesn't actually count this character as um, something to end the string but just as a character I use in the string itself so when we call the function fruit and we say banana we would see fruit is not defined what did I do wrong? Ah, I see price. When you say price banana, we would see five dollars. But when we change this to apple, which would be two dollars, we would see we get two dollars printed. Now, when we, for instance, wanted to um, get the price of, 
let's say an orange. We haven't actually added orange into our switch statement. So instead of it logging a price, we would go to the default statement. You haven't provided a good food since oranges suck. You haven't provided a good fruit, as you can see. So switch statements can be a lot more complicated than this. This is just the uh, real basics. We'd have to add a break right here. Doesn't really matter, but it's always better to do that. So if you go into MDM docs, you will see that there's a lot of other stuff. For instance, uh, multi-case changed operations, um, multi-case single operations. Uh, can I put default between cases? Yes, you can. All of this stuff is just, there's a lot of stuff you can do. So for instance, when we want, um, let's say we add more stuff, both a lemon and an orange are $2.50. So if we add a case orange, this might look a bit weird, but since we have case lemon and case orange below each other without a statement and a break and that kind of stuff, it will actually execute this line, these two lines of code, whether or not we have provided lemon or orange. So when we go back, we would see 250. So when we change this to lemon, we would still see 250. But when we change to uh, 5, just because I can't come up, you haven't provided a good fruit. So this was just a quick video. It was really short about switch statements. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. And I will see you in the next episode.